Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Florante Anchetta with BZB Gear. Thank you for joining us today. Today we've got an exciting discussion and a special guest with us and he is Juan Reyes. He is the Director of Operations from the 8K Association. Today we're going to be discussing the future of 8K technology and also being an 8K Association member and we're just going to dive over and talk about some of the topics concerning 8K. So uh, Juan Reyes, thanks again for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, Florencia, thank you for having me. Uh, it's, it's great to be here, great to be in, invited to help support, uh, support BCB Gear. Um, and so my role with the 8K Association as the Director of Operations, I'm working with all of the members to, you know, help with what the organization's message is, helping with outreach, helping to promote, you know, the advancement and the evolution of the uh, AK ecosystem in our industry. So it's a, it's a very, you know, it's, it's time consuming. It's a very fun, exciting um, process and it's helping us all to look forward to that, uh, that end goal of having the uh, 8K ecosystem expand further and further. Absolutely. Well, again, thank you for joining us. And before we move forward, uh, one um with 8k in the horizon and i'm sure this is a very exciting topic that you talk about all the time um, with our discussion can you tell us a little bit more about 8k technology and how it differs from previous technologies so with 8k immediately when someone hears about it they think it's just about resolution a lot more pixels you know four times the amount of pixels of a, of a 4K screen. Mm -hmm. But it's really a lot more than that, especially now at a time where the screens that are being sold are larger and larger, whether it's a display or a projector. Um, recently, it was announced there was a significant increase in displays that are 98 inches and, and larger. And that's really where you can truly take advantage of this 8K resolution, of higher resolution, of more pixels, um, resulting, especially with these big screens, of a more immersive a more super realistic image making for a viewer experience something that they've never been able to experience before mm -hmm. yeah and it, it is very exciting i know uh, 8k is just uh you know that's the, the that's the first thing i think about too is resolution like yeah it's more more colors more pixels it is more than just the resolution and also um i'd like to ask you when it comes to 8k what are the current capabilities and limitations of 8K technology in your in today's market? Well, the 8K technology has been expanding, you know, significantly. Initially, some of the challenges was were getting it more involved into the various aspects of the ecosystem. Um, currently today, it's involved in all aspects from capture on the camera side with companies like, you know, Red, Blackmagic, Sony, into the um, the encoding side, into the decoding side with organizations like Spin Digital, um, Intel with the decoder and the playback capabilities to where you now have this end-to-end um, -end capability. In fact, recently, you know, the 8K Association working with its members, Intel and Spin Digital, um, Intel worked very hard to provide a demonstration of the Paris Olympics live streamed in 8K, 60 frames per second, mm -hmm. HDR10 to various locations um, around the world. So it was really uh, satisfying to be able to see that it's not just an idea of high in the sky of what we're trying to achieve with 8K, it's something that's available today. Okay, so let's transition a little bit um, with the current state of 8K. So let me ask you, how has the adoption of AK technology evolved over the past few years? Well, to be honest, one of the challenges has been, you know, the the sales, the number of, of displays, 8K resolution displays, you know, being sold out into the market. It's been a very, very uh, slow process. Um, over time, as you see through various outlets, they are showing increases of 8K displays over mm -hmm. time. And part of that has been due to the limitation of, of content, the limitation of the ecosystem being able to, to fully support that. As mentioned, the ecosystem is expanding. Um, we are starting to see more and more content available. Now we're looking forward to expanding the distribution capabilities. Uh, currently you have YouTube with hundreds and hundreds of hours of native 8K content. Mm -hmm. um, you're looking to, especially within 2025, 2026, see that expand into further outlets. 
Yeah, that's great that you mentioned that, um, you know, when people talk about 8K, it's like, oh, we're not quite ready for it. There's no 8K content. And I'm sure you hear that all the time. But um, I do, I do know, like, I've, I know people that have purchased 8K TVs, like they, they want, there is a want and desire for 8K and some, there are some consumers that are ready for it. That's absolutely you. You've got it right there. And in many cases, it's really more about them being future ready, getting that display now so that when the content comes, when more of the ecosystem on the distribution side is there, they're ready to go. It's similar to the challenge we had when 4K was released. You had the displays available, but very limited content. So right now we're looking at that same scenario and waiting for the content and the ecosystem to catch up to the displays will result in more displays and projectors being sold. So in your opinion, what industries are currently benefiting the most from 8K tech? Well, you know, a lot of it is, you know, commercial displays for signage, medical, um, but really for, for us and the 8K Association, the focus has been around the, the media and entertainment industry. I mean, if you take a look at our, our members, it consists of display manufacturers, projector companies, camera companies, um, content owners, uh, distribution equipment, you know, manufacturers such as BZB gear, such as yourselves. And, and so that's really been the focus of the, the 8K association and promoting the uh, 8K technology. Okay. And you talk about 8K association members. Can you maybe expand a little bit more on what it takes or to become a, an 8K association member and just some of the, some of the requirements that you're, you know, that's involved with, with being an 8K member? Well, for the 8K Association, we are a, a nonprofit organization open to anybody who wishes to to apply. Mm -hmm. uh, we have various levels, um, adopter, uh, supporter, and, and others that members can look at to determine what level they want to participate in. Obviously, the higher levels allow for more in-depth participation. But regardless of the member level, um, all of the members, we work together with them to help support you know, their areas in the 8K ecosystem and as well as those members helping to support the 8K ecosystem and all of its members in general. Because really, at the end of the day, um, the main goal for the 8K Association and all of its members is to work together collaboratively to try to promote, expand the 8K ecosystem, um, help it evolve and help it become successful. Wonderful. And um, it's great that you uh, talk about that because uh... With us at BZB Gear, we uh, one of our uh, sale director of sales was actually at Cedia, and you talk about educating and expanding the ecosystem and just letting people know that hey, 8K is around the corner, uh, around the corner, and who knows when it will be a standard. But I'm sure with technology and just us humans, we always want the next thing. And um, I wanted to actually uh, share a little uh, piece here. Um, it's hard to see, but I'll take a screenshot. Our director of sales was at the CDO Expo, and I believe you met with them. And there was a uh, collaborative effort you you mentioned about supporting the members. Can you um, share with us your experience from CDO? Yeah, absolutely. As as a part of our involvement and and work to promote, you know, the 8K ecosystem, um, the 8K Association had a booth at CDO providing demonstrations. Um, that we had there collaboratively with several members, you know, BZB Gear was was one of them where Elbron was there participating with us. In fact, as mm -hmm. part of it, we we had a panel, we had Intel, we had BZB Gear, we had a cinematographer where we talked about the 8K ecosystem, where we are, what we're looking to do in, in the future. So it was a very, very, you know, exciting panel with many, many people attending to hear what we all collectively had to say about you know, the 8K ecosystem and, and and where we're going. And that was on the panel side. On the booth side, we had some great demonstrations where member companies, as I said, BZB Gear, Hisense, Intel, Spin Digital, we were able to have our booth there and collaboratively bring some of those members in to help support our message about 8K and, and you know, demonstrating to all of the attendees, look, 8K, the possibility of 8K and distribution, content, et cetera, it's, it's, it's here now. Mm, wonderful. And I'm sure events like CDA and other AV events where AK members gather together uh, is a good way for everyone to just network and also work together in advancing and developing AK. So um, I think that's probably one of the benefits, if I'm not correct, of uh, being an AK Association member. Yeah, absolutely. Our involvement with uh, some of the major 
um, events in the media and entertainment industry dealing with, you know, CES, with NAB, with mm -hmm. IBC, um, at Cedia, there, there's, and many others where when we are participating there, having a booth, we invite members to participate with us, whether they are just there to provide, you know, some marketing material, some product, or, you know, bring resources, bring individuals from the organization to be there and help promote their messages as help, well as helping to promote uh, the AK ecosystem. Um, let me shift a little bit um, um, to the future of 8K now, Juan. Um, when it comes to developing 8K technology, what do you think we can expect in the next few years? Well, as mentioned, you're starting to see, you know, more and more displays and projectors um, supporting 8K. You're starting to see larger screen sizes, 90, 100. 110 on the display side of things and projectors, 110, 120 and larger. So you'll see that um, continue to expand. You'll start to see um, platforms evolve and be able to support 8K as part of a premium viewing experience. You'll see more and more uh, evolution on the camera side. I mean, as it stands right now, you have cameras supporting 16 and 17K resolution, and that's also going to continue to expand as well as all of the individual uh, technologies, companies that are involved throughout that ecosystem, you'll see, you know, more and more of them come to the plate and get involved with, uh, with 8K technology. Very exciting. Exciting. Um, just wondering, would you, any chance you would know if any like 8K movies are around the corner that you would know that you uh, could? <laughs> Well, we we do know, you know, um, for a fact is that you know some of the studios have in their in their archives content um, that's been scanned, mastered in 8K. You know, part of what's happening right now in the industry is you have a lot of the the content owners working to you know scan and restore some of the old materials, mm -hmm. and it makes sense for them to score in many cases 8K or even a higher resolution. So this way down the road it makes sense to take some of those you know 8k scans and you know color correct them remaster them so that they're ready for distribution on whatever 8k platform becomes available well, that makes a lot of sense i'm sure uh it would be great to be able to see like a remastered like 80s movies in 8k that would be something Absolutely. cool as far as content so something mm -hmm. to definitely look forward to especially if you've got an 8k display um, let me also ask, um, we're going to, we're getting close to our interview with you Juan. So again, we appreciate the time that you've taken with us. Um, what are the biggest challenges and maybe opportunities facing 8k technology in your opinion? Well, I mean, the, the challenge right now is that there's not a lot of content. Um, so that's a challenge, uh, the display side of things. Um, right now, the the sales aren't as high as everybody had hoped, but we are looking into the future at what some of the um, the organizations that put data out in regards to future sales. We are seeing a steady increase in sales for 8K displays, 8K projectors, so that's very promising. Mm -hmm. So really, now it's just a matter of having that take place, having content start to become available, having distribution platforms, whether it's a streaming platform or some type of playback device um, start to be released within the market so that that ecosystem continues to further, further involve and provide consumers with, you know, multiple capabilities, multiple methods for, you know, receiving and displaying 8K content. Well, I think, uh, you know, we, we asked you a lot of questions, Juan. So again, we appreciate your time. We're going to conclude this. Um, if anyone is out there wanting to get more information on the AK Association, um, do you have um, any information on that or like a website that we can visit? Yeah, I you know highly suggest anybody who's looking to get more information. You know, we have our website, 8kassociation.com. Okay. As part of that website, we recently released a white paper, which is available for download on the website where it talks about the entire ecosystem. It talks about the business side. It talks about the technology side, evolution. Um, it covers quite a bit of information. It's very, very helpful. So if you really want to hear more and understand more about 8K, where it is and where it's going, come to the 8K Association website and take a look at our white paper. Wonderful. And we'll also include that link in our description for this video. So if you want to take a look at our description. We'll include the AK Association website there. 
Uh, any any closing remarks, Juan, before we end this discussion? Well, Florente, we appreciate you know BZB Gear being a, a member to the 8K Association, uh, as well as appreciating all of the other members that we have looking to continue to add members to the organization where we can all work together collaboratively to continue and promote the 8K ecosystem, its evolution, and looking forward to the future where we have more displays, more projectors, uh, more content, and more distribution capabilities for the consumer. Wonderful. Well, again, Juan, thank you so much. We appreciate the time. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to 8K and looking forward to the future. Thank you. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you.